This is John Cola with GrowingYourGreens.com. I have another exciting episode for you, and uh, this was not too exciting when I first heard about it, but uh, hopefully it's going to help you guys out if something like this should ever happen to you. So uh, what happened is, as you guys saw last couple episodes, I was actually in Houston, Texas, uh, down there on a little short vacation, filming a couple episodes, uh, getting people more, more people to grow food, start composting, and uh, sharing some cool, exciting information, especially like about those avocados the cold hardy avocados with you guys so anyways my flight got in late last night and I get home only to find out my uh, friend who's uh, currently staying with me uh, found out that she told me that about eight o'clock last night and I got home about midnight uh, there were some people knocking on the door and uh, you know and they wouldn't stop knocking on the door and she was kind of scared because she's a you know younger lady and she's home alone and it's these big dudes and they're just in plain clothes so uh, finally she you know they just wouldn't go away so she like peeked out the window and she saw that you know they had badges <laughs> and uh, then she was kind of freaked out so she opened the the front door and luckily I have like a gate and I always recommend you guys have an accessory gate you know so if you open a door you still got like a screen to protect you from whoever's outside whether it's the cops or anyone else and you know then they said uh, we've had some complaints that you know you're growing weed um, we got some complaints from some neighbors and then they just, uh, and then, oh, and then she answers the door, get this, in this, in, in my uh, hoodie here. And this is my hoodie, I got it free at a, at a hydroponic show, and it says, uh, Grow GH, and that's generalhydro.com. And, you know, it's, it's, it's quite unfortunate that, yeah, that uh, police and many people, uh, you know, equate uh, growing hydroponically with growing, uh, you know, weed or medicinal herbs like that, because there are other applications, actually, you know, to grow vegetables, grow high-quality vegetables at that. And she finally has to door in a GH shirt, and then they're like thinking in their brains, ha ha, she's got something to hide. She didn't answer the door, and she's wearing a hydro shirt or hydro hoodie. She must be really into it, man. And uh, so then what happens is somehow, and I don't exactly know how this happened, you know, and this is why I'm making this video, to let you guys know of your rights. Because, you know, here in the U.S., we have the Constitution and we have the Bill of Rights. And we have certain rights, you know, as citizens of the USA that, you know, we have the freedom of speech. We have, you know, the right to bear arms. We have the right to, you know, no uh, illegal search and seizure and a whole bunch of other ones that I forget. But those are the most important ones, in my opinion. So, you know, um, then what happens was she saw one cop come to the other cop with a bunch of stack of papers. And what, what was that, a warrant or something? And like, like it's something official and stuff. And somehow she doesn't really know how it happened. But, you know, cops have their ways of like, you know, getting in the door because that's their job and they'll use any tactics they deem necessary including telling fibs telling lies to get in to basically do their job and you know i don't fault any police officer or cops for doing their job because you know that's what they're hired for that's what they're doing and i, I appreciate them and their work when they legitimately have people that are committing crimes now when they're you know badgering people that are you know honest people that's that's not cool and they need to be doing something else with their lives so anyways let's continue with the story so then uh, somehow they end up getting in the house and then they were saying you know do you guys grow weed or is there weed growing here and stuff like that and then you know she'd say no we're we eat a lot of fruits and vegetables we grow our own and then they were questioning about like you know uh, in the living room area there's actually lots of cases of fruits because i eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and besides growing my vegetables i don't really have too many fruit trees so i buy a lot of fruit and there's cases of fruit and you know to the average person you walk into my house it might look very odd until you get to know me and that i really do eat a lot of fruits and vegetables more than the average person um and then they're like uh do you sell this stuff and all this i don't know all this crazy stuff and they're just i don't know, I don't know what they're thinking because they're just thinking they're gonna do a drug bust and people that are into drugs or i don't know crazy or something and then they then they look down the hall and then that's when you what you guys saw in the last couple episodes actually is where i plant my tree collards and in the bathroom window there's a little window and at night because I've my lights come on at night you see the little shining purple lights out of it and in general you know those uh those little grow lights the led lights that I have are used for growing medicinal herbs in many cases but you know people also use them to grow vegetables legally and so then they saw down the hall that the lights were on and they're like huh I think we found what we're looking for and they started running down the hall and my my uh my friend who's staying with me ran in front of him. She said, we eat lots of fruits and vegetables and these are just some vegetables growing. And then sure enough, they go down there and guess what? 
You know, there was no weed to be found. I'm not growing any medicinal herb or anything like that. It's just vegetables. It's my tree collards, man. They don't understand the tree collards are very valuable plants. I don't know if they're as valuable as some medicinal herbs on the street, but to me, the tree collards are very valuable because they're a plant that'll actually grow in Vegas 365 days a year. I mean, even in hundred and triple digit weather in the hundreds in the freezing winters and continue to put out leaves for you to eat. I mean, what other crop can you grow in Vegas that's like that? I mean, there's not too many that could survive the extreme sun and the extreme cold. So anyways, uh, then after that, they're kind of let down. Then they started questioning her about some other things and stuff. And, you know, I'm just, I just wasn't too happy to hear about all this because if I was home, it, it probably definitely would have been handled a little bit differently. So uh, in any case, they ended up going their way. They didn't find what they're looking for. And, you know, she explained that she's a young lady and she was scared of answering the door and she was just doing laundry. And this was one, it wasn't even her shirt. And, um, and they didn't find anything and then they basically just went on their way so then after that what happened was after they didn't find anything in the in the bathroom what happened was they actually uh, she said go oh, well look at our garden in the backyard you know and they didn't really seem too interested in learning about the ba backyard garden because she's like yeah we grow a lot of food and then they're like what do you do with that food do you sell it because what selling your own food that you grow is that illegal too probably i mean at this point they probably just want to pin something because i mean they're in the house they like they totally screwed up and now they're looking bad, they lost face, and they want to just get you on something, right? And they didn't find anything. And she says, no, we, we, are, you know, we eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and we grow our own food. And, you know, I mean, it, so I think it's sad that, you know, the world has come to this where, you know, the police that are trying to do good for society and follow the laws are in some ways not following the laws because they will lie and do what they need to do to get in your house to see what they're not supposed to see or whatever, and she felt compelled to let them in because she wants to prove that we don't have anything, you know, illegal here, which, I mean, I'm just growing food and I grow no medicinal herb or anything like that. But I guess, it, I mean, it is kind of weird that, you know, who would use some $200 grow lights to grow some vegetables? I mean, they just don't understand how really important it is to, you know, eat high quality food because, you know, obviously by the, the sizes of some of them, because she was telling me some of them were like overweight and probably ate too many donuts or something like that or fast food and stuff and you know I, I, I encourage everybody whether they're a police officer or not to eat a healthy diet rich in fruits and vegetables and minimize the processed foods and I know they're probably quite busy with their jobs and maybe don't have long breaks and they just go through the drive through a lot of the time <laughs> but uh, but nonetheless you know it, it's really important to me the quality of the food I eat because the quality of the food I eat is is me and, you know, the other thing is that for many of you guys that don't know is I almost lost my life when I was younger. In my 20s, I was hospitalized with spinal meningitis, and the doctors told me I might not make it out alive. And then basically after I got out of that situation, one of the things I discovered was that, you know, the reason why I ended up in the hospital because of the food I ate. The food I ate, being the processed food, being the junk food, really depressed my immune system. I got sick, and I might not make it out of there. So... You know, people don't understand how powerful the food is. I mean, what you put into your body is what you become. And I want to put the best stuff into my body. And I truly think that, you know, by buying some grow lights or buying the rock dust minerals, even if they're hard to find, by buying high quality compost and buying the beneficial microbes and putting them in your soil, you're going to have the best food on earth. And you can't put a price on that because you cannot put a price on your health. And I don't know. It's probably like weird because just most people do not do this and they're just kind of freaked out with the, you know, how, how different the house was with a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables and a garden and a grow room in the bathroom growing vegetables to eat and plant out so I could continue to eat more food and spread some of these rare and unique varieties out to people. Another thing I just want to touch on real quick is that, you know, there was five guys that came into my house with my uh, friend that's living with me while she was here alone. And so I don't know what the hell they were pawing through. And, you know, that I don't, just don't think that's right. She couldn't keep tabs on each and every one and what they're all doing. But they're probably just, like, going through all my stuff. I mean, I just don't think that's right. I mean, I kind of feel, like, violated. Not that I was, like, raped or anything. But, you know, I don't know. It just, it just shouldn't have happened like that. So what I'm going to do now is actually just share some tips with you that I've learned. And, you know, once again, I'm not a medical doctor. I don't play one on TV. I'm you know, not a lawyer or anything like that. So, you know, take this with a grain of salt. But basically uh, what you want to do if you have any challenges with the police officers, whether they're wanting to search your car or come in your home. I mean, your home 
has like the highest level of protection under the Bill of Rights. And, you know, there's laws for reason. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be an American that there are these rights, because unfortunately, in some countries around the world, you don't have any rights. And so I want you guys as Americans to exercise your rights, because if you do not exercise your rights, they'll be taken from you. If the cops come to you and say, hey, can we look around? And you say yes, guess what? You've just consented. And when you consented and then they find something wrong, then you're, you know, then you're going to have to deal with the consequences. But even if you're, you know, uh, innocent, like in this situation, I was not growing any illegal drugs, you know, I'm not going to consent because I'm exerting my rights because that's, that's my right as a citizen, regardless if I'm, you know, in the wrong or not. So the one thing you need to say to police officers when they say, hey, can we come in and just let them know, I do not consent to any searches, whether they want to search your house, search your car, search your body. Now, in some cases, you know, they, they have do, they can legally search you, but let them know that they do not, that you do not consent to any searches. In addition, if I was here, um, you know, I would have my camera on that this whole time and, you know, you guys would really get a good episode out of it actually to show what can happen. Another thing that you want to remember is, you know, once you do open the door and start talking to him, you know, you want to step outside. You do not want to leave the door open. You do not want to let him come in. You want to step outside and talk to him. Or like, you know, I have that gate on my front door. I'm just going to leave that gate closed and have my door open so I could still see him and talk to him, but not invite him in by any means, you know, because I just don't want unknown people going through my house. I don't care if they're the police. I don't care if they're the president. You know, I just don't want people I don't know going through my house. You know, I mean, if, I want to invite you in. That's my thing. It's like it's like vampires. I think there's like movies where they say don't inv invite a vampire into your door because then you know then he's got free reign or some shit. Yeah, don't invite the police in your house. You know, even if you don't have anything to hide. You know, don't, just because you're you're you, we got to keep our rights, man. And and they every day it happens to thousands of people a day that you know people give their consent. You know, and and they're not exerting their their rights as an American. And that, that just kind of bothers me. So the next question is, you know, once you do open the door, ask them, you know, talk to them, and then they ask to search. They do not consent to any searches. And then once you're talking to them, you know, you have no obligation to continue to be questioned and harangued by the police if, it's, if, if they don't have any probable cause or whatever like that. So you could ask them, you know, am I being detained? Am I free to go? And that lets them know, you know, this is, you're not, you're not accepting they're questioning and you don't want to be here because I got better things to do. I got to edit a video for you guys to put up a video every couple days, you know. I can't be sitting there wasting my time with the police officers when I have nothing to hide and I'm not doing anything wrong. So just ask them that question and, you know, hopefully they'll let you go. Sometimes they may not. And then if you're not free to go, then that means they're probably arresting you, which then you got some further issues. And, you know, despite using these techniques or not, they still might give you a hassle. So it's very good to... I'd say, you know, take take video of what's going on so that in case later you need to prove something that's what happened, you can, or at least minimally uh, take detailed notes and have witnesses of what's going on if your, uh, you know, rights are being violated. Finally, another thing you can do is, you know, um, if they're asking you a lot of questions and you don't want to answer them and you don't have to answer any questions that the police, you know, give you, you could just simply say, I have nothing to say until I speak with my lawyers. Because, I mean, you know, we, we are all, you know, allowed a lawyer because we can't, you know, we're, we can't be self incriminate we can't self-incriminate ourselves. I mean, these are things that we all learned in grade school, but a lot of us have probably since forgotten. And only does it come up to the forefront when there's a situation like this. And I'm glad this situation came up with me so that I could share with you to let you guys know these little three tips. You know, I do not consent to any searches. Am I being detained? Am I free to go? I have nothing to say until I speak to my lawyers. That way, you know, hopefully you can get some of the heat off you and the police will know that, you know, you know your rights. And that this, that's all this video is about is that I want you guys to know your rights, especially when, you know, in the future, growing food, according to some people, if you're a, you know, conspiracy theory person, thinks it could become illegal and, you know, food may be, you know, illegal to grow one of these days. and. Uh, it certainly is in some cities and towns that pass ordinances that you can't grow food in your front yard. Um, but, you know, and if that happens to you, I definitely say would, 
you should move and live somewhere else where you can grow food because I just don't think it's right. You should also work to get laws changed in your cities and many cities have been changing laws. I mean, I did an episode down in Santa Monica where they actively promote people to grow food in their lawns because I, in my opinion, lawns are just a waste of space. So, you know, hopefully after watching this video, you'll learn from what happened to me and turn around if you do have expensive grow lights, whether you're growing medicinal herb or just tree collards like I am, you know, um, make it so people can't see from the outside. I mean, if I was growing medicinal herbs and stuff, I mean, I could get some fans, I could get high power charcoal filters. There's a whole bunch of different things you could do to keep people out of your business if you don't want them there. And, you know, I just, you know, and this whole thing is about exerting your rights and, you know, having the freedom to do what you want to do. Of course, I do not actively encourage anybody to do anything illegal. Um, all the tips and techniques, of course, I show in all my videos to, to show you guys how to grow your own food. You could use on any crop, whether it's medicinal herbs, you know, edibles, non-edibles, perennials, anim annuals, I mean, whatever it is, all the techniques of using the microbes, the beneficial fungi and, you know, compost and rock dust, they'll work on any plants. And I always encourage you guys to enrich the soil wherever you live, because I mean, that's what it is really all about. It's about enriching the soil to hopefully enrich the plants, to hopefully enrich the people that are eating the plants so that the world will be a brighter place one person at a time. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of down about this, but you know, after this video, I'm just gonna just get out of me and, uh, you know, t give this as a learning lesson to you guys to, uh, you know, hopefully you guys don't get accosted or, you know, searched. Uh, you know, like I did at my house here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, learning more about this stuff here today, and I'll have a new episode for you in a couple days about how to grow more food at home. Once again, my name is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep on growing.